Hey guys, it's Chris here from Chris's Creative Life and I design workshops that help you create beautiful projects from start to finish with easy to follow guides. And so this one is super exciting. Everybody's been waiting for it. So my in full bloom scrapbooking workshop is ready to go. So I'm going to put you down on my table. I'll show you the supplies I used, um, what you can expect in the workshop guide. And of course, we're going to take a quick look at the layouts. Okay, so let's put you down here. Okay, so this is the March April idea book and the products for the in full bloom collection can be found on page 16 starting on page 16 of your idea book. And so I'll just tell you the supplies I used first for my workshop. So this is the cover of the workshop guide. So inside here you could find the full supply list. It's also put, posted on my blog at chriscreativelife.com. But I did use the paper pack with the sticker sheet. I used the coordinating cardstock here. So black white mint mink glacier lagoon and avocado and then i use one extra piece of white daisy cardstock i do use the full in full bloom um, die cuts that are this nice black chipboard that's nice and sturdy but not too thick and then I use silver embellishing thread and silver glitter gems. So that is the supply list that I use that will create the um, eight scrapbooking pages or four double page spreads, depending on how you count your scrapbooking pages. So if you are looking for more details about my workshop guide, I'm just gonna go over that first. So like I said, um, you could purchase the guide from chriscreativelife.com. And this is also one of the instant download workshops. So you can add this to your cart. And then also if you wanted any of the other ones that are within that product selection for instant download, you can add them to your cart at the same time before you check out. So this is a, that is a new feature and um, it will be expanding going forward. But I'll just take you quickly through the um, files included in the workshop. So there is a cover page. Then there is the supply list, some general um, workshop directions, uh, process backgrounds, directions, and uh, before pictures, before all the photo mats and accessories are on the page. Suggested photo sizes, but you can totally switch those up to your photos. <clears throat> if you have more or less photos, then there is a full um, large photograph with detailed pictures of each layout and then there is the full cutting guide and this helps you um, use your paper to the best of its um, abilities there's very little waste left over at the end and um, so that is one of the features i'm super proud of for my workshop guides so I'll just talk to you about that at the end again for one second, but let's take a look at what my workshop creates. So this is layout number one, and it is on that um, mink background. So here is a closer look at some of those uh, black die cut pieces. So they are nice and sturdy, but not too thick. And then here you can see a really nice cluster of stickers, the silver embellishing thread just tucked in there. How gorgeous is this butter butterfly? So you can see that even though it's quite an intricate cut, um, it all comes out very clean and easy. So that is layout number one. And then here is layout number two, which features a few of the cameras and some of the butterfly stickers and here is layout number three it's a good life happy days and this is a fun layout on a glacier background how pretty is this zip strip with all the different colored butterflies going across it so that's layout number three 
and then layout number four happy times so this is a nice just generic workshop that i think feel like you could scrapbook almost anything on. It would be great for family photos, travel photos, even just some everyday photos. Also, it would be a great kit if you had vintage photographs that you wanted to scrapbook. So I'll just quickly walk you through backwards the layout. So that is layout number four. Here's layout number three. Layout number two and the first layout. So, like I said, one of my objectives always with my workshops is to use the products to the best of their capacity so that there's nothing left over that you have to stick on the shelf when you're done. There's nothing worse than having half a pack of paper that you don't know what you're gonna do with or half a, stick, a set of stickers that you put on the shelf and then when you go to scrapbook next time, you totally forget they're there. So with my scrapbooking workshops, like I said, I do try and use almost all of the products. So either you don't feel bad to throw away whatever is left over. You can maybe create a card with some of the leftovers on some of them. Um, and if you wanted to use it on more projects, then maybe you should order a second pack to get started. So that's what I've got for you guys today. I just wanted to show you a really quick walkthrough of my In Full Bloom scrapbooking workshop. And I hope you guys all have a great day. We'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.